In this week's Keeping It Green, Ian Wallace looks at factors driving consumers towards electric vehicles. Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. The International Energy Agency notes that in developing and emerging countries, there's a slow uptick of electric vehicles due to higher prices and a lack of charging infrastructure. Although environmental factors, government policy and car makers are driving consumers towards electric vehicles, motor journalist Narand Sunrain believes fuel cost is the huge factor locally. As a journalist, motor journalist for several years, how are you seeing this trend about electric vehicles? Oh, I kind of I kind of love it because it means no going to the gas station and lining up and having to pay for gas. He also notes a shift from CNG towards hybrid and electric. You know, I myself drive a CNG vehicle. I totally love it. I went from spending $1,500 a month in fuel to $250 a month in fuel. <laughs> so it was a huge, huge savings. But electric is just as effective as, as CNG, if not more effective. Suknoi notes that drivers need not fear not being able to reach their destination. So-called range anxiety is fading. Uh, once your vehicle is fully charged, you know, I don't think anybody is realistically going to drive three to four hundred kilometers in a day. You know, we did, we did a drive from Port of Spain to UE and Cedra and back on a vehicle that had, I think, 305 kilometers of range. And we got back to Port of Spain with 77 kilometers to spare. Right, and that means you know we still had enough to go Arima and come back and, and, and still be okay. <laughs> so unless yeah, unless you're literally driving the circumference of the country, you won't really have a problem. In 2024, so far the country has over a dozen charging locations with several charging stations. The IEA recommends not exceeding 10 vehicles per charging port. However, Suknarayan thinks most EV owners will charge at home using the Level 2 charger installed by the car dealer's licensed electrician. Now, I don't know if anybody wants to wait on 10 vehicles ahead of them to charge. I think that would be frustrating. So I think the average Trinidadian is going to charge their vehicle at home, just like the same way you plug in your phone, you're going to arrive home and plug in your car. Just give it that little three to four hour top up. Most vehicles and the charging units are smart enough to, to shut down once it has achieved the full charge. So we don't really have to worry about that, you know. Besides cars, other commercial electric vehicles such as vans and buses are also becoming attractive. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News. You exercising to get fit and healthy, going to the rivers and beaches to spend time with the family, yet you're leaving the place dotty dotty. What if Chancellor Buko, the Savannah, or one of the streets by we, let us reduce, reuse, and recycle and clean up the country? No matter your age or gender, everyone can be an earth defender. Get into green with Swim Call. Cash back craziness! Yes, it's insane, but we're giving away a total of $300,000! Sign up or upgrade to our everything plans for an instant reward of $250 cash back on your bill. Or pay your bill on time for a chance to win. Get in on the cash back craziness. Visit discoverflow.co today. Flow, inspired by you.